This is Mike Bot here. Today's review is on the Monster Clarity 102 Airlink headphones. So this is my third attempt at buying headphones. I actually bought a fourth set just in case this one didn't work out. So stay tuned for uh, the Boltone uh, headphones or Boltone headphone review coming in about two weeks. Those headphones were 63 bucks. I picked them up for $43 on sale. Well, these ones were $120 on sale for 100 bucks Canadian. So I've already uh, opened this box up and tested these headphones out. And I am impressed so far. So I will most likely be keeping these headphones and uh, returning the bolt tone ones once they come in. But I will still review the other bolt tone ones just in case they do turn out to be something really amazing because they had pretty good reviews online. Okay, so to start with these monster headphones, they are IPX5 rated, so that means they're water and splash resistant as well as sweat resistant. They claim to also have a 30 hour battery and they are wireless. So I'm always a little uh, sketchy about the wireless uh, connectivity issues. So these mon uh, monster headphones are supposedly produced by Noli. Um, what did I want to forget what I wanted to mention in this part so disregard that so anyway they come with uh, three different size uh, earbuds small medium large medium already comes on them they're USB-C compatible uh, it's USB 2 it's using not USB 3 not a big deal uh, the casing overall quality design of the case is pretty good um, so here we have the manual I have not opened that up yet so I will open it up right here Oh my God, please don't tell me they're bribing me. You won the prize, first prize. Please go here to claim my prize. Interruption of all the company. Oh, the prize is basically a lifetime full service. So I'll probably uh, scan this and do my thing with it before I post this video in case somebody decides they want to try to do that. Uh, rest of the manual, not important. Now the headphones were here originally. They're in their case now. And then in this little box, you get your usual USB cable and the extra ear pods. The USB cable is really short, but it came with covers on it, which is nice. Keeps the dust out. And that's basically it for that. So the case, really nice, lightweight, pretty good quality. It's got a nice feel to it. Uh, it opens up by sliding it. I, I had to figure that one out. It took me a little bit of time to figure it out. I was trying to like flip it open. So once you get used to it, it's pretty smooth, simple uh, swing of the front cover. The headphones just slip in here and they're magnetic. So you can literally just pop it in and then they clip in just like that, which is great for charging. You have four little LED lights here that tells you when uh, the headphones are charged or sorry, the case is charged, which has a little battery in here. How many milliamps is the battery in this guy? Does not say for some reason. Anyway, the headphones are um, good quality, actually. They're pr they feel pretty good. They feel nice and light. They have little LED lights. You, of course, have your left one with the magnetic sensor for charging there, and then the right one. So pretty good overall for quality. Okay, so I've thoroughly reviewed these headphones and I enjoy them quite a bit. Um, they're definitely the high end of the budget brands. So that's a big, big plus. Uh, their ambient sound blocking is also pretty good. So I'd give that probably an 8 out of 10. The bass on these headphones, it was surprisingly good for little headphones like this. So definitely a 6 out of 10 for that. And that's pretty solid for a budget pair of headphones. The Lowe's uh, bass kind of thing. So it's nothing mind blowing or amazing, but it's still pretty darn good. The connectivity between the buds was amazing. There was no interruption, no glitching when I moved around and did my thing. Uh, the Bluetooth distance, I'd say was about 25 feet before I noticed any uh, issues. The highs are okay. The mids are okay. Probably a five out of 10 for both of those. Um, like I said, the headphones are, seem like a pretty good quality build. They seem like they can take a beating. The case, maybe not so much, but it's still a pretty good quality case. 
Uh, I did a phone call with these. The phone call was pretty solid. They could hear me really well. I could hear them very well. Um, there's no noise cancellation on this. So I, I can't really rate that. Would be nice if they had it, but 100 bucks, like what do you expect? So next I decided to try something different. I tried to do some mobile games. So I noticed in some games there was a three millisecond-ish delay or so, which was kind of annoying, but I could live with it. So I'd give them a six out of 10 for mobile games. Otherwise I'd give them a solid seven if there wasn't that little delay with some of the games I tried. So these are, like I said, they're definitely 100% a keeper, unless for some reason the Boltone headphones that I ordered and I'm going to be reviewing in two weeks, blow me away. And for 40 bucks, I'll most likely keep those and return these. But for now, I'm going to continue using these and testing them out. Some of the uh, songs I used to test them out for like the mids and the lows, sorry, the mids and the highs, I used a song called um, A Thousand Years by the Piano Guys. Uh, for the bass, I did Rubber Band Laser um, by, uh, uh, what were they called, Puma. I can't remember, believe I can't remember the name right now. Tested out a few hip hop and rap songs, tested out some rock songs. So overall, I am very, very satisfied with the sound quality and I'm glad to say that I can finally uh, enjoy these pair of headphones without any complaints. So I definitely plan to keep these. So. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, thank you for watching. Mike Bot out.